but then uh, there was the occasional bee. Um, but in his junior year, in his junior year, he decided that he wanted to graduate a year a year early. Oh, good, thank you. Um, wanted to graduate a year early. I'm just going to finish the story, and then we'll go on with the toast. And and so we said fine, but for him to graduate early, he had to apply for correspondence courses. And back then, this was in the would have been 90s. And so everything was on it's paper. In the 2000s. <laughs> right. Okay. It was a little later than that. 2004. Okay. Anyway, they we didn't have the internet then. I'm pretty sure. And so you had to do it was, everything. It was an early stage. Early stage. Anyway. So he applied, he had to petition the school board to get permission to graduate early. He found a school that would give him correspondence courses. He completed his senior year by distance correspondence education while he was completing his junior year and all of his grades went up. And so the one thing I would like to say about Sam is that when he's motivated, he can do whatever he wants. Excellent. Well, thank you all for your patience. We're all assembled here and we all really appreciate you guys coming in. Thank the good Lord for such beautiful skies and sunshine and also spattering of clouds, which is very nice and adds to the photos. I, w <laughs> I wanted to talk about the first time that I met Tara, which we, the three of us, my father, my mother and me, we had road trip down to Northern California. Easy with the glass. <laughs> we road trip down because Sam was going to school there and we were going down to pick him up and bring him back. I was maybe a sophomore in high school and I was kind of a little brat. I wasn't very, my attitude was probably not the best on the trip, but <laughs> I just remember meeting Tara and she was such a ray of sunshine and she was so amazing. We all fell in love with her immediately. My mom was already out shopping for like gifts for her and like Arcadia, right? And just, ready to welcome her into the family and I think probably one of the biggest takeaways I had from that trip is aside from meeting like my future sister and and having that amazing experience was that there's also vegan restaurants which I had not experienced before <laughs> Tara was very excited we went to a vegan restaurant I was like what is this I don't I don't understand I don't know what this is I'm where's the steak like <laughs> So thank you, Tara, for that eye-opening experience and for <laughs> and for just being always so warm and welcoming and nice and amazing and friendly and everything else, even when I feel like I've not always, I've always maybe had a little bit of an attitude, not always, but sometimes had a bit of an attitude and <laughs> always, not always, just sometimes, <laughs> but I, I know that you and Sam's relationship has made me and Sam closer. And so there's nothing that I can, there's no words for what that has meant to me. And it's just been so valuable and it's so amazing. Even though you've been part of our family for 10 years, to finally kind of have a party about it and to say that instead of it's just like, oh yeah, my, you know, my, to say it's, you, you're, my, you're my sister, you've been my sister for a long time. So I'm just very excited and the day was beautiful and Thank you. Here, here. So everybody raise your glass. <laughs> and cheers to the bride and groom. Cheers. Cheers, cheers Daddy. Excellent job, baby girl. Turn it over to Eric. Okay, Eric, the bride's father. <laughs> Everyone say cheese. 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 <laughs> okay. I swear I'll look up in a second. I just got to. It's technology. Hi. Thanks, everyone. Can you guys hear me? I'm Eric. I'm Tara's dad. Closer. I'm Tara's father. Um, I'll keep it short. Okay. Um, 
I want to say uh, high fives to Ann and Tom <laughs> and to Cheryl. Congrats, Mom and Dad. Woo. <laughs> I, I, wrote, I wrote down woo. Because I didn't want to forget woo. Um, I'm happy those from far and wide could come. Um, and uh, representing the new West Coast side of the family, Tara's side of the family, um, my mom, Peggy, Tara's grandmother, and Tara's brother, Milo. <laughs> and um, Cheryl's mom. I mean, Tara's mom, Cheryl. Um, I wish my sister Betty could be here. And Cheryl's mom, Carol. And um, my dad, because I think my dad, John, would totally love all you people. And you guys would sit and share stories for hours. So I, I wish he was here, but I think everyone's here and enjoying. Um, so I don't know when I first met Sam, but it was in Arcata some time ago. <laughs> and uh, I was, uh, I can tell you, a very well-rounded person. And, um, and I was impressed that you were a, this outdoorsman, you know, camping you know, skills and uh, a young man who could tie a knot. <laughs> and we're here. Um, yeah, I, I worked the puns into that. Um, but uh, thanks, Sam, for being stellar. And um, I hope you and Tara have wonderful adventures together. And um, I wasn't sure the summer was coming because we went through a, a blizzard to get here two days ago. Um, and uh, yesterday was the solstice, which was the longest day in the year. So today's the second longest day in the year, which is a great day to have a long day for celebrating. So as the Scottish say, to your health, Sanjavar. Sanjavar. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the toast. So everybody, continue on, enjoy the beautiful landscape and the beautiful sunshine and everything, and have an amazing night. I just thought this was my opportunity to say what a great thing it has been for us and for Sam to have Tara in our family. It's been a lot of fun to live close to those young people, have them clover, watch their deer hunting adventures, <laughs> and some adv adversity there I know, cold mornings, and it has been truly inspiring to see how how they really, one revolves around the other. They're, that's their most, they are so strong for each other I never, they took them a long time to get married, but I was really never worried about it because they were so magnetic to each other that it just didn't seem like they could be without each other. I mean, what's to give up in either one of them? Two quality young people that we love and we're very happy to have you in the family, Tara, and to adopt your family too. Thank you. Cheers. We love you. <laughs> Oh. That's all, folks. <laughs>